desert. The desert spirit. <laughs> Forever. We actually saw them at Coachella twice we or just once. Probably three times before then, like 2016. Yeah, but saw them at Coachella once or twice, which was cool. Okay, 
we just picked up our wristbands. Wow. They're actually so cute. I love the colors. Neon Carnival. Our first Neon Carnival. Firsties. We got those and then we also got our parking pass. Maybe you don't like this thing. We love to do the clicky clicky. This is called like the... What is that? It's called like the influencer tap or something. Really? Yeah. I never, I mean, you started doing You're not chronically online. I'm not like, oh, I got a parking pass. It's fun to do. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, and now. Yeah, and now we're gonna hydrate. It's fun. <laughs> oh my god. Now gosh. we're gonna hydrate. These are actually good ones so you can, now yeah. I'm gonna hydrate. I had a couple, let me see that one. Now we're gonna hydrate. We're a little uh, two man band. Literally. But we just stepped outside and it is literally so hot. And when we were back home by the coast, it was all like cold and foggy. Yeah, it was kind of cloudy today. And like the moisture, you know, all that stuff. We stepped outside here. I'm like, oh, dry, it's hot. Dry. It's dippy. So we need to fight dehydration. We're actually going to Neon Carnival with Liquid IV, which we're so excited about. And thank you to them for being today's video sponsor. We're so excited because they now have new sugar-free flavors. And- They're delish too. They're so good. This is the, what, what are you doing? I'm doing the raspberry melon. Yeah. This is my favorite because I feel like this is such a unique flavor. I, I don't think I've ever had anything this flavor and I wouldn't have thought that it would like I just never would have thought of it, but it tastes so good, you guys. Yeah, it is delicious. They have white peach that I really like. White peach is and also really good. And a grape one that's super good. I love grape too. It also has eight vitamins and nutrients, including B6, B5, so a good way to get some extra vitamins. I've been drinking these when I play tennis, before, during, after. It's just a nice way to stay hydrated on the court. And mix her up. <laughs> also, no artificial sweeteners. Mm. I love that flavor. So good. Give us the electrolytes. Mm. Keep us hydrated. This will give us, yeah, very hydrated out here. Like we said, it's hot already and it's noon. So the next few hours out here, it's gonna heat up. And while you're partaking in festivities, good to be hydrated, but also like Clayton was saying, if you're active, if you're just chilling at home, whenever you need extra hydration, Liquid IV is the one. All right, let's go to the next stop. Yeah, let's go check some stuff out. I don't know what time we can get into our Airbnb. I'm gonna actually message her right now. We have to find somewhere to have lunch too. We need lunch. Let's see. Airbnb. We actually stayed at the same Airbnb, Airbnb one time, right? Yeah, our second year. Not the same unit, but the complex. same area or complex. The Mems. The Mems are gonna be there. Scrumpsh. Okay, the internet is not working right here. So. Oh yeah. Anywho. Just stopped into a little get ready house and I got my hair done it's so cool i got these like white extensions and then this little like beaded piece so cool and then this is my like daytime outfit i'm wearing this skirt from white fox this belt i don't even know where this is from this top is a thrift from a business called chic vintage i think as h-e-e-c she like curates little boxes for you oh my boots these are Okay, so I updated my hair a little bit. I finished my makeup and then I decided I wanted to add some space buns and then these little like sticky jewels. Oh, is this one like hanging by a thread? It certainly is. Okay. I'm just gonna pop you back in here. Okay. 
but I want to just put these little like gems in my hair and then I thought the space buns were cute and made it like a little bit more manageable I normally don't wear my hair just all the way down sometimes I do but especially with like the wind and everything I just think it feels a little bit more controlled to have it somewhat up and space buns are so deserty and festival-y and carnival-y to me so threw in the space buns went for like a half up half down because they still have these the little braids that they put in which I think are really cute down and then I still have this little this little thing is so cool um I finished my makeup and then I put on my outfit I'll show you guys later like not in the car but I'm basically just wearing like a lace bra with this huge jacket because it's still pretty warm right now it's like 70 but the temperatures drop at night out here and it gets really windy it's actually pretty windy already right now so having the layers and even something that's kind of warm is actually really clutch I just have on some cargos and then really comfy shoes my converse so yeah we're pretty much ready and Clayton just ran in he's getting our dinner but we have gotten this place before blue Arch blue orchid Thai bistro and it was so good we love Thai food I hope I can't remember if we got mango and sticky rice or not but I hope we did because that's literally my favorite dessert in the whole world and resumed. I need to go powder my face because she already got oily oh and we haven't even made it through the night but yeah we're gonna fuel up eat this Thai food, and then head to the meal kind of walk. The bad news. No mango sticky rice. Uh, did they say it was out of season, or they just... So I don't have it. No. It's Holly told me. Play, 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 chic. Oh, Back in the room, we got the food secured. Pad C U with tofu and cashew tofu. It's Clayton's, Clayton's go-to. I go for a garlic tofu or a ginger tofu. Oh, that looks like a cashew tofu. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just love nuts. Typically, I love nuts from this kind of food. Mm -hmm. right. Oh my god, they didn't give us utensils? I got some. Mm. You love it? Mm -hmm. Love it. We're pre gaming. They oh. used to have mango sticky rice. Yeah, we've had it before. Mm -hmm. This must not be the time. See, we can't find something on the old tube. About time to head out. I'm gonna make a little coffee here. Nine o'clock. Get that energy. Energy. Oh, dang it. I have to overfill my coffee, but they have these little coffee mates here, and this is what got me hooked on coffee. My parents always had this in the fridge. They had a little coffee pot, a little vanilla, French vanilla, in the coffee. Oof, so good. Anybody else's parents dock this? Or maybe you guys still use this. I never use these anymore. DJ James Kennedy, Kennedy. Coffee got me buzzing. 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 Some ketchup. Looks like it comes up the side. Trying to make my kissable for you. I wonder if they have a Ferris wheel. I think they do. Forgot to show you guys my outfit, but, and I don't know, like how it's working. But my, my cargo pants are from White Fox. They're from the collection I did with them. And then I'm wearing this white lace bra. I actually don't know where this is from. And then this vintage Yankees jacket just to be like super warm and comfy. Yeah, it's windy out there. And gorgeous. Probably a little cold. I'm super casual with some denim pants. And cash, and it's partial cash. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. Uh, let's go check it out.
take off my makeup I don't even know what time it is actually right now my phone died and I gotta get all these little gems out of my hair this is weaved like the weave here it's a braid braid like the braid I mean I guess that is like weaving okay do you know how to get those up my first extension. <laughs> too late yeah but for us it was fun played was. some carnival games yes huh um, we just picked up some bagels and have a little breakfast get on the yes. road we're gonna refuel a little bit honestly also my review i kind of liked neon carnival better than coachella i honestly liked it better than coachella because it was just less busy and then all the rides and games made it fun yeah, I don't know, more it, felt, interactive. it felt more intimate too yeah because it's way smaller it nice. yeah but we're gonna rehydrate, liquid IV, sugar-free. We're gonna have peach today. Last night at Neon Carnival, they were serving these little um, mocktails and they were serving the grape flavor. The grape with some like coconut flakes. Yes, yeah, and so it was good. so good, you guys. The grape package is like a green grape, not a purple grape, and I feel like it tastes different than yeah normal, like a yeah like grape flavored things it does it's a little bit more refined yeah. less like i feel like the other grape flavor is like a candy flavor to right. me white peach is also fire that's what we're having this morning that peach is so good just being out here in the heat the elements staying up we need to be hydrated yeah, no. i woke up like ooh, little cobwebby mm -hmm. And like we said, if you're playing sports, if you're being active outside, if you're just chilling, whatever it is, being hydrated is always key, so. Very key. Mm -hmm. How's that this morning? White peach. So good. Yeah, Neon Carnival, it was a hit, guys. So many fun little activations. Yeah, it was cool. I feel like the vibes are a little less chaotic than Coachella, yeah, too, just, because everyone, people. yeah, and they have let their guards down or something for the day, like. It's just like the, yeah. there's no like, oh my gosh, we have to rush to get to this Yeah, set, run to this, like, yeah, run, yeah, exactly. I don't know, it just That's felt true. very, like, comfy there. Yeah. Kind of. Like, I would, I was about ready to, you know, roll out a sleeping bag, make myself at home. The arcade games, all the fun little arcade games, I don't know. It was just so bad. I would do it again. Mmm. So good. Oh, look at this little bagel. Um, oh, it's just cute. Too little. Okay, on Let's the road. Let's get on the road. Cheers. 
Just got back into town and grabbed a quick little coffee. Da, da, da. It's a little rainy out here at the coast. I like it. We were just reminiscing though on uh, past Coachella's. Yeah. And our festival weekends, whatever you mm -hmm. want to call them. Because I mean, we didn't go to we rest. didn't go to Coachella this year, obviously. We were like, I can't believe it's already been like six years now since our first one. Yeah, and it's so funny because that feels like yesterday, and I still feel very noob at like yeah. Coachella things. But we've gone how many times? We've been to three Coachellas. Only three. Yeah, and okay. then four now festival weekends. Yeah, that's still a lot. Yeah, so. And we're still just Newman though. There's just people that have been doing it for 15, I don't know, more years. Like, they're just so seasoned, so. Yeah, we're gonna show you the ropes. Yeah. But uh, our first time we went, we were coming back from Africa and Europe. Yeah. And we were in Morocco first for like a photo shoot, and then we were in Paris. Yeah. For two nights, and then right when we got back, No, but it was we so chaotic to too. When we went to Morocco, that was the second time we had ever left the country. Yeah. We went there for 48 hours. Real quick. Which is so far to go for 48 hours, and I did a photo shoot basically the whole time, and then we were like, oh, we're kind of close to Europe, so like, let's just go over there while we're here. So then we decided to go to Paris for the first time for another 48 hours. So we, were, this whole trip was only four days. Yeah. And Clayton was still an engineer back then, so he couldn't like travel as long or as easily or whatever. So we could only go for a short amount of time. And then the day after we got home from Morocco and Paris, which by the way, we flew on Wow Airlines, which no longer exists for, you know. If anybody reason. flew that, you know why. <laughs> Cardboard seats. Like the seats didn't recline at all. Chaotic check ins, think. no recline. Yeah, they didn't. I don't think they did. The only thing they gave you for free was water on a 12 hour flight. We had to buy like frozen pizza and it was so horrible. That was bad. They like overbook the planes. They were notorious like for crazy. that. Crazy. So that you had to like fight for your seat basically to like get on the plane. It was like first come, first serve. Basically. And they were like notorious for overbooking. So then people, the layovers were always in Iceland for some reason. It was an Icelandic airline. Oh, okay. Yeah. So people had to like stay the night in Iceland, whatever. We were like, we have to get home to Coachella. Like we need to get on that plane. So that was just such a chaotic phase and era. Thank God we had more, more fight in us then. <laughs> more energy. Yeah. And then we got home and then it was our first Coachella and when we had books, the tickets and everything, everywhere was pretty much booked up to stay or it was way too expensive for us. But, so we were like, it's fine, we'll just do the car camping or whatever, you know, we're not, I'm not a big camping girl as is. You probably hadn't gone camping in a really long time. I was time. down, I was like, let's camp, <laughs> Yeah. sweet. I was just like, it's fine, it's whatever. So at the time, Clayton had a Forerunner, a like 2000, 2003, 2003 Forerunner. And we were like, we'll just put our air mattress in the back of the Forerunner. Yep. We'll just sleep there. You guys, the air mattress. Well, it didn't quite fit. It didn't so, fit, so we were. It was a taco. Yeah, we were falling into the middle. It was not comfortable. We were the filling of the taco. And literally, the this car is way taller than that was. The air mattress was like probably this close yeah. to the ceiling our noses were scraping the roof you know no but almost it was so i'm not even a claustrophobic person but it was so uncomfortable and like no it, no we didn't really fit no didn't fit. and everyone around us was raging and partying they were like fighting and we were out of our raging era by then and we were like whoa this is we're like not cut out for this i was changing my outfit like 17 times in the porta potty <laughs> It was so chaotic. Gross porter bodies. So yeah, that was So our... we slept there for one night. Yeah. Or two nights. One. It was just one night. And then... Our friends rescued us. And then we went home on Sunday. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, so then our friends, uh, Lizbeth and Rob, were there. And we told them our camping debacle. Yeah. And well, luckily also, they had an extra bed. That was like the room. first time... Or that was when we had recently just moved down to Southern California. We didn't really have a lot of friends here. They were like our only friends. Like I had followed Lizbeth online for a while and I went to an event with her for, she was like the first person I met in LA. Mm -hmm. But we really didn't have a lot of friends and they were like our only friends. And we were just like, yeah, we, we didn't know what we were doing. Like we're not really cut out for this. Car camping is not, like we're not, we're not fit for it. It's crazy, whatever. 
and they were like oh my god no you guys can come we have like an extra bed they literally rescued us we love them i mean we loved them before that we love them forever for that and they're just the best nicest people ever it's yeah. so fitting that they did that but yeah that was our first coachella and since then we've learned we've learned a few more preferences mm. and tricks and all that kind of stuff yeah no car camping no. please mm -mm. but yeah it's fun to think back at all of them yeah We've had a lot of fun times out there. Yeah. We also used to like go out there a bit more for just like random weekends. Mm -hmm. Um, We went for Drew's birthday once. Mm -hmm. We went with Hunter and Julia. Oh yeah, that was fun. We once stayed out there for, at that hotel. Yeah, we used to go out there a bit more. It's so pretty and yeah. it's really cool for photos. It's such a photogenic place. It looks unreal, you know? If you've never been there, it's truly a sight to see. Just the landscape. Yeah. We. When we go out there, I'm like, oh, we should, like, come out here more because it is... It's so pretty. Just beautiful, yeah, and it's a difference. It's not far at all, so. Mm. Another year in the books. Yep. Survived. Cheers to that. Cheers to you. Cheers. Cheers to us. Next time we'll be married. Dang. Love you. Love you, too. I love a little cappuccino-sized cup. Perfect. It's me. And this is you. Mm-hmm. Big and small. Mm-hmm. Well, let's get home. <laughs>